Hey guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another Seven Kingdoms battle for you and we're doing it a little bit differently to start with, we've got a little bit of an intro before the battle starts about the history of the battle that we are doing which you have seen in the title is the Battle of the Redgrass Green field and um, yeah we're just doing a little intro, a little bit of history as well um, if you want to skip on by to the start of the battle um, I'll put the time that this starts in the video um, and you can skip along to there um, but for those that want to know about the history, then uh, we'll get on underway with it. So, how you get to the Battle of the uh, Redgrass Field is, you have Aegon IV dying in whatever year, and he just before he dies legitimizes his bastards. He has a lot, of, a lot of bastards with highborn ladies, um, and in these um, bastards is a. One of his sons called Damon Blackfire. Damon Blackfire um, gets handed the Blackfire sword as well, which is the sword that all the Targaryens have used um, since Aegon the First. So it's kind of a sign of kingship almost, and this is a big thing. So Damon gets prompted by a few other uh, nobles, and he goes into rebellion to claim the throne for himself and his kids. Um, that he has at the time. So he has about seven, I think. It's a ridic ridiculous amount of kids. Um, so the rebellion starts, and there's a few like skirmishes and other battles elsewhere, and then you come to the main battle, which is the Battle of the Redgrass Field. And the battle starts with the Blackfire forces crushing the Vale Vanguard. And um, they have then Damon Blackfire is like a huge duel with one of the um, Kingsguard whose name I can't remember. If you want to know, I'm pretty sure I'll have his name pop up or something like that. Um, and they fight for like an hour and then Damon eventually wins and he allows the Kingsguard guy to get healed by his own maesters because he was so impressed by his skill. And then anyway, the main Targaryen army arrives soon and um, I'm, I think it's Bloodraven. Um, orders like a company of archers to like fire upon like um Damon's position and shoot I think kill him and during the battle that happens and then um they eventually kill Damon's twin sons who are also there who which is Aemon, I think it was an Aegon and um I think Blood Raven kills them as well. And it turns into a bit of a rout at that point and you have Bitter Steel, Blood Raven's um brother turn the route into a uh, a charge and they and then Bittersteel and Bloodraven have a duel of their own where Bittersteel cuts out Bloodraven's eye and then um, during that battle Baylor Targaryen the son and heir of Darien II um, turns uh, turns up at the battlefield with a force of Dornish and Stormlords and they crush the uh, Blackfire rebels and end the rebellion there and then thousands died at the battle uh, 10 well in the books they say around 10,000 men die and turning the blood uh, so much blood turns the grass gr uh, from green to red which is how it gets its name so I'm sh sure I'll put like a link to a more indescriptive like history of how the battle goes down um, in the description, if you want to go and check it out, that was a very, very quick, brief thing. I didn't want to bore it to uh, make the bore you too much and make the video too long. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, guys, um, that bit of history and want to see that more often, please let me know in the comments. And now on to the battle. Hi guys, and welcome back. We're at the battle now of Regress Field, and I am playing as the Tyrells to represent the Blackfire forces as the Osgrey House, which declared for House Blackfire, which is one of the famous houses that declares in the rebellion, was from the Reach. So I thought we'll use the Reach as a representative as we have no Blackfire faction. So we'll uh, quickly l cut out of this, and we have three other players one playing as the um, Targaryen loyalists. One as the Reach, which is the Vanguard. Uh, Targaryen loyalists are having to unfortunately use like Unsullied and stuff as there's no proper units. And then we have the Dornish in behind getting in position ready to uh, and, well, take me on. Um, so yes, 
everyone is just getting ready and into position. Um, I'd just like to thank them all for uh, being able to join me in this battle. It has been a, a real pleasure to uh, work with them. And uh, hopefully we'll get a great battle out of this. So yes, we are nearly ready. I'll give you a quick look at the forces. Quickly have a look at like House Royce. We've not seen them before. They're on the battlefield to join the Veiled forces. They look very, very good. Excellent. They look very actually like proper medieval troops. Um, I'll have a quick look at my Tyrell forces. As we've not seen Tyrell yet, the guardsmen look excellent for these guys. They look amazing. They look like the proper guys out of the series. They are they're going to be very much outnumbered in this. And these are the men at arms. These guys look. They look pretty good. I I prefer them, if anything, over the guardsmen, I think. And then the pikes here at the back look amazing. And then we've got cavalry out here. We're using Loras Tyrell as our general um, for the for the black uh, Blackfire pr uh, pretender. That's what I was going to say. Pr prince. He's a, a king. He's not a prince. So we are getting ready into position. Um... So yeah, I think we are almost ready to go. So, I'm ready. There we go. Just let them know I'm ready. And I'm going to need to this. I'll try and get as many cl uh, close-ups as I can. But obviously, this is going to be an insane battle. I'm going to need a lot of uh, a lot of practice, uh, a lot of microing. So I'm going to get my stuff ready. And here we go. I'm going to send up the the first line, which is the me the melees. I'm also back over here. You can start if you want. Um, so yeah, Dawn will arrive in five minutes. You, I'm just going to put attack at... Um, 45. There you go. He's got about five minutes. He's got to... And there he goes. He's, that's what he's got. That's the that's the amount of time I've got to attack. So sorry, it's a little bit um, raw, is the uh, is the battle, but that's that's what we got to work with. So I'm gonna just get my cavalry up. Where are we gonna put them? Where are we gonna put them? We're gonna put them up here. I'll, and then we're gonna put these guys over here ready to go. Anyway, so here we go, getting ready. The Targaryens and the Vale are almost two separate armies, which is interesting. But who are these guys that are firing? Oh, these guys are right on the edge over here. We could probably outnumber the Vale, so I'm going to move forward and take the Vale out first. Oh, I am way far too far up uh, out here to be dealing with that sh that sort of thing. Let's pull back. Um, my first two lines of infantry keep moving up with them let's not keep these guys too far behind either and like out of them. let's keep them going um, you I don't know who could we smash they're all guardsmen spears that's the problem they've got some really good spears how much he brought some cavalry he's brought quite a lot of second sons cavalry um, as the Targaryen forces he's got the, to represent like the knights of the Targaryen loyalists, and he's got his Unsullied in the back, Elite Unsullied, and he's also got Second Son's Melee, along with Second Son's uh, more melee. Dawn is back there and has a sm uh, smallish force, it's about 15 strong. Um, Vale's gone very defensive, so I'm going to bring all these units into to bear on Vale, with some Guardsmen too. There we go. We'll bring them into bear. See what he tries and does. Um, let's see. I'm going to try and engage him. He's going to let me get near enough up here. So yes, um, the battle is a huge one. And this is going to be insane in itself. Let's see this cavalry charge go off. That was pretty good. Uh, that tree kind of blocked our um, our path. And then let's engage. Engage there. Um, we're gonna have to worry about the second sons. And there. 
Um, and their cavalry. It's pretty mad. Their cavalry. Let's get my cavalry out of there. I'm losing that battle. So my cavalry are now finally getting out. Let's... Okay, second sun's are raging in here. This is an insane battle. But these are all levy, so who cares about them? Let's charge you in there. Um, you get committed. Focus them down. Oh, we're getting focused down in a lot of places at the moment. So yeah, unfortunately right now we are not winning on this flank either. The Veil are actually holding on. I probably should have committed more forces. I've just the, realized that. And we are already kind of getting overwhelmed over here. We are going to need a lot more forces. We've broken them in the center here. But we need a lot more out wide. Um, can we can I actually shoot in the back there? Can we hit them? Hit them. Hit them. Um, where's Loris Tyrell? Loris Tyrell is winning there. Okay, we are not beating the Vale, unfortunately. Um, going to see where we can hit them here, possibly. You can hit, and then you go there. It's going to be interesting. He's got my... Uh, ah, he's got my archers in the back. They are unfortunately going to die. Um, you, can you go in there, please? I'd like you to go in here. Pikes are down. And are sort of doing stuff right. So we won there. Let's go into the back there. It's a very fast paced battle. So I am trying to get as much. Dawn is now on the move. I can see Dawn. Dawn is moving. We need to uh, we need to attack as quickly as possible. Here we go. We can get a few. A bit of a, a view of it. Loris Tyrell is in very much trouble right now. And I might need to pull him out. A unit has fired all of his ammunition. Wow, who is that could be? Oh, you guys. Um, you go in there, please, and and break them. I'm going to have to regroup up here. I have smashed the uh, the Targaryens, but I cannot break there. Yeah, here comes Dawn. Dawn is uh, coming and is in causing a lot of trouble. Here comes Dawn. Here comes Dawn. Pike's turn. Where are my other Pikes? Pike's here. Whatever la advantage that was, we've been outnumbered the entire battle, guys. <laughs> Not much in the way of advantages. Here comes an insane charge, though. Where's he going? Oh, no, he was going to go in there, I think, but... Who knows? Where was... Where is the Dornish General going? It's, um... It's turning into a bit of a... I did not see the Dornish Cavalry when it setting up, but it's there. It's very much there. Elite and Sully... I'm running out of Cavalry. Loris Tyrell needs to run down these guys. Let's get a quick zoom in over here. That's it. That is nasty. It's chaos down there. I'm sorry I'm not getting as much as you'd uh, like in close-ups. But, um, obviously, I am very much... Their general is dead. Ah, excellent. We've killed one of their generals. Oh, the Veiled General is dead. Excellent, right. But I am running out of forces. Very, very quickly. Um, very, very quickly running out of forces. 
I need these guys to get around the back and form up there. Here they come. And it, it, it's turning into a rout now. Here it goes, as it did in the, as it did in history. We're running out of men. My general is not yet dead, though. My general is not yet dead. I actually, or maybe he is. Yep, he is. Our general is dead. Loris has died. And now he died. And now we fall. Dawn's not even going to get a chance to fight. It's turning into a rout. I am sorry, yeah, like I said, I am sorry for, like, lack of close-ups, but, uh, it's absolute chaos. An end battle, so we will, uh, quick look at the results, and I'm sure there is, uh, gonna be much death. Yeah, look at that, 3,000, I had, Zaha here had a lot of forces, and, I mean, most of his Targaryen forces were killed, um, Dawn not even seeing any action, really, Oberyn Martell did get a bit of a kill, a uh, few kills, uh, the veil surviving unlike in history it did actually survive um and unfortunately a lot of my forces did not see uh day, the light the light of day again they did die a lot of, as you can see there i flicked through you can ha then have a look yourself at the results there are very very many hi got hi guys i hope you enjoyed that battle we're trying something a little bit different and I'd just like to thank the guys that got involved for doing that battle. It was a really close one. It was a live sort of battle. I did take the harder side to try and play and commentate. Um, but I did feel a bit harsh on inviting them and just saying, well, do you want to go on your own and play that? But um, yeah, so the Blackfire Rebellion, as in history, got destroyed. And uh, we may do another historical battle soon. I'm thinking maybe doing something like the Battle of the Bells during Robert's Rebellion. I'm not really... I'm just kind of bouncing around to the time periods, not really going from one to the next in historical order. Just fancying to doing whatever springs to mind. And uh, I think, yeah, that'd be a really good one. So if you want to see the Battle of the Bells or another historical battle, leave a like and subscribe. And if you did not enjoy this version, then also leave a dislike and say why you didn't enjoy it in the comments. I'm happy to uh, take on your critiques. I'll put it like that. Um, and until next time anyway, guys.